Good afternoon, uh, I'm Chris O'Brien from Fly Design and I will uh, present you from the cabin the F2 from Fly Design. The F2 is the latest uh, aircraft uh, from Fly Design. It's a serial of aircraft from two seats to six seats and it's produced now in Czech Republic. This is the P3, the prototype which I served for the uh, certification, and I want to show you the uh, panel and the cabin. So you can see we have a very roomy cabin, 129 centimeters, a lot of space. Even here we, uh, we can move, we can put our feedback, so uh, it's very roomy. The F2 is equipped with two uh, Garmin G36, G3X tactile, so you can uh, change frequency, you can uh, select uh, and check your fuel, like we do, we can put the uh, navigation, you have also the PFD, of course, engine, PFD, and then you can check your com. The com are there, uh, you have two com for this one, with a navcom and a transponder. For the backup, we have the uh, Garmin G5, which is uh, a small FIS by itself. <coughs> so as you can see, the uh, F2 is very well equipped. He has, uh, as a standard features, also the autopilot with this, uh, uh, the box, the GM507, uh, which gives the uh, capability to for, for flying on horizontally and vertically, and with different mode level uh, autopilot and flight directors, so we can um, uh, easily uh, Find our way with the navigation, taking from the uh, from from the FIS. Then we have here the Notosh uh, fuel system, which is uh, selecting right and left uh, every 10 minutes. The uh, preposition flaps and uh, the uh, heating and alternate air. And then for the safety, which is a very important uh, uh, feature, we have the uh, ballistic rescue system, and that is the, uh, the handle for that. Also, as an option, we have here the two uh, positions for the airbag, which can uh, provide additional uh, safety for the occupant of the aircraft. Then here, we have the mono auto throttle here. So where you have the throttle and you have the brake on the same handle with the parking brake here. So we put parking brake and we put pressure, then we are we are brake and we can really, we can now uh, start the engine. So everything is uh, concentrated on the ignition keys where you have the uh, position A, position B, A plus B and start. Nobody there? Let's start. So as you can see, it's very easy to start the Rotax 912IS. So the Rotax 912IS delivered 100 horsepower and consumed 15 liters at 150 knots. Now we will prepare the aircraft for the takeoff. So here we have to look for all the switch. We put the additional pump, so you have two uh, fuel pump here, and we put the flaps for the takeoff. Landing light, strobe light, and position light. Problem de Fox Zulu Fox, je pénètre et remonte la piste 30. So we we check that the two doors are closed, and we are our we have our belt on, and the uh, handle for the rescue system is uh, uh, ready for use. So we check the flight controls; they are moving in the right way. Flaps is on. The fuel, fuel we have donc 156 liters. We have also a view on the fuel here, left and right, and we have the uh, header tank for five liters. So when we dry up our two wing tank, which are 130 liters, uh, it remains about uh, 20, 25 minutes of fuel on the header tank. And alarm are there, low fuel. So we check the engine now. So for the 912 IS, 
we have we put uh, 4000 rpm you switch off lane b and lane a and you go back to a plus b so you light up the two lane a and b and they should switch off after about five seconds means that the ecu has controlled the engine for you and is ready all are in the green and we are ready for takeoff Okay, on est bon. Easily. We have a very nice visibility on the side and a little bit less uh, in the front. Due to the uh, high angle of attack. The aircraft. Then we put the flaps up, and as you can see, there is no, nearly no uh, pitch, pitch up or pitch down, and uh, the uh, climb rate uh, now reach at 70. We 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 will reach about uh, 1,050 uh, feet per minute. And that's only with a Rotax 912IS 100 horsepower. So when we compare with the CTLS, the uh, additional area of the wing gives more, more uh, climb rate uh, with the same power than the CTLS. Because on the CTLS with the same engine, we can climb about 800, kil 800 uh, feet per minute, where the um, Tactic of weight is uh, a bit lower, it's 600 kilos. Here we have 650 kilos of uh, max takeoff weight. So we will reach 3000 feet and uh, then I will uh, show you some uh, very interesting feature features of this aircraft. Yeah, so now I want to show you uh, the autopilot, which is the standard features on the, on the F2. Here you have the horizontal uh, section and here you have the vertical section. The horizontal section you can select uh, nav if you want to go uh, somewhere with a uh, uh, GPS or you, you select the track and the heading. The track, you can see here the track and then I can change the track and the uh, aircraft will uh, turn to the track I have selected. Very easy. Then for the altitude I have uh, put 3000 feet, I want to change to go down to 2900, then I put VS down 200 feet and then it will go down by 200 feet per minute to the target of 2900 feet. Very easy. So now I want to show you another very important safety feature of the uh, of the F2 is the uh, spin resistant airframe. You can see on the wing, you have the cuff wing on the droop nose, which uh, allow the uh, aircraft to, to, to be always controllable during the stall. And I will show you uh, now a stall very easy. So everything is okay. I put the pump, I reduce the power. Very soon you will see the uh, angle of attack indicator on the uh, airframe when we will, now it's appearing and we are in the green zone everything is okay then we we go to the stall so you can hear the noise indicating that we are stalling and now we are in a stall and you can see that the uh, Speed, vertical speed is uh, going down, and it's very easy to move the aircraft. Always controllable. Airspeed. Wow. And now you can hear airspeed mention, which is the Gerbil system ESPX, which is taking over uh, and pushing the the stick to get to get more speed. So I need to dis disconnect it by pushing the uh, autopilot. Then we will do a we will do a, st a stall with full flaps. And you can see that the, the 
the stall speed is very low, it's about 48, and the same characteristic, well, we are stalling at 40, 43 knots, 42 knots, 41 knots, and uh, a bit more weight, about 1,800, and now, again, very stable, I can move it as I want, and paragliding uh, up to the ground if we if we don't care. And again, the USPX system pushing me uh, the stick to get back some airspeed in a safe. So now we go back to our airfield, uh, Revel airfield, uh, using the uh, autopilot. You can see uh, we are in the nav mode, following the uh, go-to. And at the altitude of 2,000 feet, we are going up to 2,000 feet at uh, 200 feet per minute. So the aircraft is very gentle to operate and very easy. Then we will do a, a traffic pattern there to show you how how to learn the uh, F2. Okay, so we are arriving at uh, Revel uh, Airfield, uh, and uh, I will inform them. Delta de Kilo, on est vertical uh, pour se reporter en vent arrière fils 30 pour un complet. And now we, we go to the traffic pattern and you can see uh, it's very maneuverable aircraft, you can nearly uh, turn on the on the wing. And we go to the uh, downwind. We go down a bit to uh, 1,700 uh, feet. Now we are established in downwind. Delta Kilo en vent arrière, uh, piste 30. And we will prepare the aircraft for the landing by reducing the speed. So we can uh, put the flaps down from 86 knots, first position, and then when we reach 77, that's it, you can see it's very fast, we can put the second uh, flaps and we uh, put the uh, throttle to 3,800 3, uh, RPM. So the uh, traffic pattern uh, speed is uh, about 60 knots. And now we are starting to descend to the uh, touchdown. Data Kilo en base 30 points complet. Very easy to to make the traffic pattern. Uh, so the the speed to remain is 60. Then we reach uh, the 508 to the touching point 30. Delta Kilo en finale 30.
้าพีลันดิ้งซึ่งเราได้ไปถึงจุดพิเศษของเราและที่เห็นได้ว่า F2 เป็นเครื่องบินที่ง่ายที่สุดสำหรับผู้ขับเพียงแค่ไม่ต้องใส่แรงบันไดขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ้นไปขึ